Hey guys, back with another video. This time it is not an unboxing video. Um, this video is different from my other videos because they're mostly unboxing. Um, I wanted to do something different, but it's something that I've always wanted to do, and that's um, videos about reading, you know, about books or whatnot. So I know that there's like an order that you're supposed to do these in. You're supposed to have like a TBR video first to show like what you're going to read and then a wrap up video or you know reviews in between. Um, but this is going to be a little bit different from those as well because um, I finally had the chance to do the, the book about um, my wrap up which is what this video is. This is my summer wrap up so it'll be um, part of May, like the end of May, um, all of June, all of July, and then my TBR will be for August, and that's in another video. Um, so with this, what happened was at the beginning of the summer, I ended up getting, um, uh, having to get a surgery done and um, I was trying to figure out what to do with my time in between since I was on bed rest and there was a whole lot that I couldn't do. Um, and I love to crochet, as you can see my crochet uh, blanket is back here. I'm not finished with it, but um, it was just one of a couple of projects I did during the summer. But um, crocheting all the time hurts my delicate fingers, so I needed something else to do and I love to read. So when, um, I wasn't, I don't know, sleep from the pain meds. I was reading. Um, I seriously wasn't able to do a whole lot for my boys. So my husband took care of my boys and then the boys ended up taking care of themselves. There was very, very little um, I had to do, but even the little I had to do was still too much for um, the surgery because um, I had to have an abdominal surgery. So while I was reading, or while I was on bed rest, I did a lot of reading. Like this much of reading so I'm just gonna go through and um, share with you guys the books that I read and some of the books that I read are um, on audio and since I don't have all the fancy editing um, apps or whatnot you'll just see pictures of those at the end of um, this video so first up one of the classes that I had to read a lot of these book for, books for was uh, a children's literature class for college so, first one up is Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. I read this because I know the movie is coming out. Well, I reread it because I know the movies are coming out. But the last time I read this was like years and years ago. So I didn't remember all of what was in here. And I'm glad I reread it because one of my favorite stories in here is a story that you can actually do the prank on a person. And my sister. It's so easy to pray. So it was like one of the things that came to mind. Let me see. I marked all of them off. Okay. It's called uh, The Dead Man's Brains. And it's like a step-by-step -step story on how to like scare someone. But it's like using food objects with them being blindfolded. So we try to scare each other with food objects all the time around Halloween time. So I thought that was perfect. But this is a really good book. Um, I would say let your children read it at your own discretion because some kids love scary stories, other ones don't. But um, this is one of like many highly debated books as to whether or not they should be in schools because of some of the things that it talks about. And obviously with scary stories, there's a lot of death um, in them or ghosts or whatnot. So that's at your own discretion. Um, another book that I read, reread for like the million and one time is Monster by Walter D. Myers. This is for me a really good book, really good read. I would read it m multiple times. What I love about this book that is it is written in um, a script form. So I love theater. So this kind of just reminded me of theater and he read it or he wrote this in script form as if he was the one directing it um and when i say he i mean the the kid that's going to jail well not going to jail he's on trial 
to be tried to go to jail um, for a murder that he did not commit, um, but the the people who committed the murder um, lied and said that he was like their lookout. Sorry, that's a spoiler. Uh, main character name is Steve Harmon. Um, but yeah, really good book. I don't want to give it away. This is a um, high a YA high school um, and middle grade read. I first read this book when I was in the sixth grade, um, and it's I think it's a really good book. Um, and it does have, you know, a lot to do with um, racial profiling. So, it's a really good book. Another really good book that has a lot to do with racism um, is One Crazy Summer by Rita Williams. And I read this also for my uh, children's literature class along with Monster as well. Um, this book takes time dur during the, takes place during 1968 the year that Martin Luther King died but this is highlighted more on the Black Panthers side so it brings you more of a view of people who followed Malcolm X instead of uh, those that followed Martin Luther King although they were fighting for the same justice it was a different way that they went about it and this follows these three children right here um, Oh, what are their names? I know one name is Fern. I can't remember. It was at the beginning of the summer when I read this. So, Vonetta, Vonetta is another one of the names. Vonetta, Fern. And I can't remember the other little girl's name actually gonna so yeah I had to google that um, I can't for whatever reason to save my life remember all three of the kids names but um, anyway all three girls travel to Oakland um, to see their mother who abandoned them when they were younger mother's name is Cecile um, Big Ma and Pa is who they live with, their dad and their Big Mama, uh, which is their great-grandmother. Um, but you find out why the mom leaves, and it wasn't just as simple as her just leaving. Um, it's a really, really great take on mental health as well, um, from the standpoint of how children view it and what influences their views. So like what we tell our children will influence their view on another person. So if children are told that their mother abandoned them because she didn't want them, that's what they'll grow up believing until they find out otherwise. Um, but yeah, this is a really good book. Um, really, really good book. All right, another book, this was more of a recommendation from a colleague called um, Odd One Out. Um, it pretty much follows three th these three teenagers. Uh, Sanchez, I'm bad at remembering names. Goodness gracious. Courtney, Courtney is the, the boy. Sanchez is the best friend. They have been best friends since they were in kindergarten, I believe. And then the new girl, Bree, moves in and um it's a weird like friendship love triangle question uh your sexuality sort of book um i personally did not like this book on a i would recommend it sort of read because of the way it was written i feel that it was written too much as a script and uh, but you but i don't know in a way i can appreciate it because um, you get a lot of like what they're feeling as they're going through things. So it's told from three point of views and you get um, each one of their point of views from certain events that happen or uh, just questioning their friendship with a person. And um, there's a lot of twists and turns and some backstabbing as you would expect from high school kids. Um, I mean, 
not a bad read, but it took a while for me to get through it because I felt that it was slow. I didn't really care for the majority of the script to being conversation. Um, I guess that's because I felt like most scripts that are conversation wise, it would be more like theater scripts. Um, but that's just me personally. So it's not bad, but me personally, I wouldn't recommend it to anyone, but that's just me. I know my colleague who recommended it loved it, so yeah, to each his own. Um, all right, last book that I read for my children's literature class is The Invention of Hugo Cabaret. And my dog did a number on it. I set it down on the couch, and he's a puppy, and he just wanted to chew on something, and he chewed on the bottom of my book. Didn't affect me reading it because obviously it's just a corner so there's no words uh, written out but that little bugger got my book so um, I actually chose this book to read based on the cover to be honest with you like that's the side and the back cover it had nothing to do with this part it's all this and this um, I do know that this is also a movie and the movie is titled Hugo um, I actually think this movie is a great read for a historical text um, and like for a good read for history, you know, trying to make um, history and science fun for kids and I think this would be a good one for history. Um, it discover, it's a book that goes on a journey with a boy and um, a girl who they discovered this old um, theater director. Um, I'm pretty sure he's a theater director or no movie director anywho he's a director but he ended up having I think like Alzheimer's or just something major happened where he just no longer was producing movies or anything but he was still well liked and taught about in schools and uh, you find out all of this through the journey of um, the little little boy Hugo and the directors and niece um, whose name I cannot remember but um, they go on the journey because Hugo finds a mechanical man um, that his grand or his dad when his dad was alive was fixing up on but they thought was destroyed the day his dad died in a fire um, but they end up getting it fixed. Well, Hugo ends up getting it fixed, and then they find out about this director that um, the little girl then told Hugo, no, that's my grandpa. He did none of those things, and it turned out that grandpa did do all those things. Um, but yeah, this is a really, really good, but very sad story. Like, there's um, obviously the death of Hugo's father, um, and I don't know, it's just in the homelessness, you know, poverty, but it's a really good story. I like it. Alright, now, my adult books of choice. Um, oh, that... Good job. The boy can't do it. Alright, All right. some adult books that I chose to read. Bye, Mommy. Bye, buddy. Two of which are from... Alright, so this is my first book, Lies That She Told. Uh, this book came out two, almost two years ago in 2017, and I just had not gotten around to reading it, um, and I finally did, and I'm glad I did, um, but I got around to reading it because I also found the audio on Hoopla, so between reading the audio and then reading um, the hardback, I was able to get through the book. Um, so this book is very good, very uh, twisty, turny and the people that you think like i don't know like you like you can't read the first part of this book and think you know who uh the perpetrator is at the beginning or the middle or any of it like you literally find it out at the end and they did a really good job at concealing all things until the end um but this book follows the journey of um a book writer who um, is going through a lot in her own personal life with the death of her husband's friend 
who you later found out is um, the husband's lover. Um, and her memory is kind of shot because of things that happened to her in her childhood that she ends up writing it out in books that she wrote and I don't know it's it's a crazy book it's a crazy book but it's a good book I would definitely recommend recommend this if you like suspense thrilling if you like you know murder and all that it is not gory so if you are after the gory murder mysteries you will not get it in here but it is a suspense murder mis murder mystery kind of like clue and since i like clue if the book leads me today i will go with it all right next book worship essentials this is a book that came in my faith box um, and I really liked this book and I would highly recommend this book to other people um, Yes, I know it's weird for me to talk about um, You know gory books and murder mystery and all that stuff and then talk about uh, a religious book, but I I consider myself a Christian and very religious um, Although with problems that I'm obviously working on which is why I go to church and all that jazz um, but I also like horror. I love horror. So, so yeah, there's that. Um, but this book is a book um, for worship teams, um, which are pretty much like the people that sing in front of the church before the sermon is given. Um, it's meant for worship leaders, but I think this is a book that um, is also very good for those that just want to understand like the purpose of you singing in church and like what God meant it for um, it's throughout a lot of scriptures in the uh, Bible Nehemiah Ezra uh, I believe is in Timothy a couple times but it's throughout scripture like worship comes in many different for forms and one of the forms that it comes through is singing um, and this is just about like, you know, singing for God, singing to God, talking to God through song and how to grow in it and how it's not supposed to be this competition in a church home, um, but it's supposed to be for God's glory. And I love every bit of that. Definitely since I find worship easier through song than, um, than reading, although I'm not opposed to reading the scriptures by any means, I just, because reading the scriptures to me is like learning from a textbook um, that I want to learn from the textbook and then go back and utilize my, what I've learned in a different way. And it puts more meaning behind the songs that um, I love when I know what scriptures they are based on and how to utilize that in my life. So this book I feel like really helps you grow on a personal level as well as those leaders out there. So that was, it was really good. Um, and then last, book is another murder mystery <laughs> um, and this book follows a pastor um, who is married to a lawyer and their daughter who is in I believe her I want to say her early 20s um, or te late teens I can't remember her exact age but because um, I know it references her relationship with her best friend um, from when they were in high school and then also um, since they graduated so I can't remember if she's late teens or like right there turning 20 and in her early 20s but she's trying to figure out what to do with her life because for her nothing ever happens until one day something does happen and a guy that she was dating um, is he turns up dead so throughout the whole movie you get this story from uh, three point of views, which is the girl herself, um, whose name I cannot, Stella, Stella Sandell, um, is the main character. She is the girl. And I say the main character because it, the, the story revolves around Stella, although you're getting three point of views from both, from Stella, her father, and her mother, it revolves around Stella and her friend, uh, but mainly Stella. Um, so 
Yeah, so the book starts off with the dad's point of view. Yeah, the dad's point of view, and then it goes to the mom's, and then Stella's is the very end. This is another book that is very, very, very good on um, keeping who the actual perpetrator is till the very end. Um, I cannot tell you the author's name, but I believe he's a Swedish author, and I think, um, yes, yeah, Sweden. He's from Sweden. Um, but this is a job very well done, in my opinion. I believe the, sh the chapters are kept very short. Um, I think on purpose to keep you wanting to read more, which I really love. Like, don't get me wrong, I love my books with big chapter, but it's harder to put down a book when you're reading it when the chapters are so huge. And since I have three children, I need to be able to find a quick stopping point to be able to put the book down and assist my kids in any way that I need to, or my husband. Um, so I really liked reading this book. Um, because of how short the chapters are um anybody and everybody that you can guess who the killer is at the beginning i would just say hold your horses and wait till the very last chapter um but if you read it at the very last chapter it still won't make sense so don't like try to fast forward and go straight to the end to find out who the killer is like you literally have to go through the why before you find out who it is and it all makes sense put together that way um, I would definitely read this book again, um, so it will probably be on the future TBR, but I will also highly recommend it to other people because I felt that this is a really good murder mystery. Um, and this was a, the June book of this year from the book of the month, so um, like the other one was from two years ago, this one is from this year. Um, so yeah, very good book. So, um, another book that will probably, will have a picture at the end of this video that I read was, um, see, and I forgot to write this down, and I'm using my phone to record, so it doesn't help me. Um, I know one of the books is Art of War. I just wanted to see what the big deal was in those books, because, um, like, almost every superhero villain person has seem to have read this book it's referenced in a lot of movies uh whether they are military movies or um you know just other movies the art of war it seems to be referenced a lot so i just want to know what it was all about um i'm not into history of you know, like chinese history and like that much i mean their art is very great and obviously you have to learn about history to learn about their art and um you know part of one of their art collections is a bunch of soldiers and then you know the art of war is a reference in there and i can't remember what that collection is that's found underground in the cave but that always brings back to mind when i look at it the art of war book so i read it not for me. Um, I think on my Goodreads I gave that a two star, but I mean if you're into history, if you're into Chinese history, if you're into just teaching, you know, history of war to people, The Art of War may be a good book for you. just wasn't good for me. Um, and I think that's the only book that I read on my Hoopla that um, I don't have a hardback copy. Well, I listen to on Hoopla for audio. Um, that I don't have a hardback copy for. So that will be at the end. And if there's another book that is escaping me when I look on my hoopla and my Goodreads, I will tag that to the end of this video. But yeah, there you have it. So until next time, bye.